Hi everyone, back again with another layout today. Um, I got this set, The Four Feathers, from the new holiday catalogue, which is released on the 28th of August this week, and I cannot put it down. I have created lots of cards, and I knew I wanted to use it on the layout. So I got this photo of my son at the Elf Door, which is in Scarborough in Brisbane. Someone has created this uh, door, what looks like a door, in the trunk of this really big old tree. And um, it's actually got Gollum written on it, but my son doesn't know that. Uh, he just thinks that the elves and fairies live there. Um, and I thought it would just be a perfect photo to use these feathers with. So I stamped a whole bunch um, using stays on with the small feather. There's two stamps, uh, two small feather stamps, and one is more of an outline and one's more of the, the colour inside. So you can use them separately, but I decided to use them together um, as a way of colouring in the inside. So I used uh, Pacific Point, Pool Party and Crumb Cake and stamped a whole bunch and cut out a whole bunch um, and I thought it'd be nice to scatter them across the page like maybe the feathers are falling from the sky so I don't know <laughs> maybe they're supposed to be leaves I don't know but I thought it worked out really well um, so these are the bags that you can buy from stamping up the brown paper bags and I don't use them as bags. I love to use them as my layers on my scrap pages. Um, so today I've used the whole bag uh, as is, but in the past I've ripped them up and teared them and it's just a great texture underneath photos. And I got out my wood grain embossing folder. Once again, I thought it would go well with this theme of the tree. So I... I've got a bunch of those in crumb cake, which is the same as my background paper. Um, and embossed those and I just uh, ran my scissors over the edge to scruff off the edges. And um, using a dauber and some crumb cake ink, just running it around the edge and then over the raised parts to give definition to the, the wood grain effect. So... I use this embossing folder a lot on my layouts as well. One of my favourites. Uh, so the photos actually got um, a filter that um, is on my husband's phone and I have no idea what he uses. <laughs> he found it someday and loves using it. And every now and again I just grab his phone and take all these photos off so that I can print them out and scrapbook them. So... I'm sorry, if you want to know what filter it is, I don't know. Um, but I love how he does these. He just does it so he can post them on Facebook. But um, I like printing them out like that too. So it's got a nice distressed look around the edge. So that's why I thought the nice distressing around all of my layers would um, enhance the photo. So I've also used um, some lullaby paper which is really cute and it's supposed to be the baby paper that's in the new annual catalogue but it's not babyish at all I think it's really cute and that little paper's got little hearts on it which I think is really nice and I've also laid in some of the um, specialty vellum that's in the catalogue and it's really gorgeous it comes in gold or silver um, and in the pack you get uh, dots, stripes and hearts. Um, fancy foil design of vellum it's called. But it's really cute and adds a great layer underneath. So just working out which um, letters I wanted to use. And I knew I wanted to use my top note die. So I went away and printed out some of my journaling. Um, I'm not a big journaler, but I do like to add little bits and pieces, so that's why you'll never see a lot of journaling on my pages. But I've got a nice little paragraph there that I wanted to add. 
So I'm just cutting down my scrap of paper there that I printed on because um, I thought I'll have my journaling at the top and I can put my title underneath it. Um, so just working out where I wanted it to go. And I turned it upside down so that I could get the definition of the little imprints around the edge on that die. So if I put it up the other way, the impression wouldn't be as, as much. So I just worked it out how to do it upside down. Um, so yeah, so I knew that I wanted it up the top and to the left so I can poke it under my layers there. And distress that with the crumb cake as well. So everything's just distressed with the um, dauber and crumb cake, uh, which makes everything blend together, which is great. So it took me a while to figure out where I wanted all my leaves. I had so many on there that I didn't know if maybe there were too many, but I think it worked out right. So as always, I sand the edges of my photos with a sander, um, and it just gives a nice crisp white edge without being too much of a layer. Not that it needed much with this photo because it's already got the distressing in the uh, filter, but anyway, you can't break habits. <laughs> Um, so yep, distressed everything, inked everything, and um, because I used the different textures of, of layers underneath, it, it gave a really nice dimension to the page. So if you just use standard pattern paper underneath, you don't get as much of the dimension. So I love using all the different sorts of textures, so the paper bag, and the vellum and embossed cardstock um, really gives you that nice texture. So just laying everything up, sticking everything down, and um, once again with the inking. <laughs> I think my layouts would only take half as long if I didn't ink everything, but then it wouldn't look as nice. So the letters that I'm going to use are from the Project Life Accessory Packs, if you're wondering where I get the stamping up uh, letters from. Uh, I love those little packs because they come with lots of nice little embellishments and things for my layouts. So this washi that I'm using is some of the new washi in the ha holiday catalogue. And I'll give you the name in a second. I don't know it because it's so brand new. It's called Santa and Co Designer Washi Tape. So you get three rolls in that packet. So it's a Christmas one, um, but I don't think it's Christmassy. It's like blue and black. So it looks nice for Christmas, but it looks nice for other things as well. Um, in fact, the three rolls in that pack um, you could use for non Christmas easy. So. I'm happy with that. So I decided to use a little bit of that washi to bring out the blue in the leaves and then in the photo and it needed something to ground that title so I thought it was the perfect thing to do. So I used three different uh, letter stickers. They, the elf is um, little cork letter stickers which are really cute um, and I love using those. Um, so I called it the Elf Door, and I really love how that title sits on the bottom of that top note. So, and working out where I wanted all my leaves to go, not leaves, feathers, feathers, all my feathers, working out where I want them to go. Um, so when I played around with them for a while and decided where I wanted them to go, I then um, put some on dimensionals and some just flat with the uh, tape runner which gave it a, um, a nice texture to the page like the feathers weren't all just flat lying together they were sort of different levels of them and uh, so I decided I needed a bit more of that washi to give that triangle um, effect around the photo um, it looked just a bit out of place with just the one strip under the title uh, however, the little piece I put there at the bottom of the bag 
didn't quite go down very straight because I was trying not to move where I'd put all those feathers. And in hindsight, it would have just been easier to move all the feathers and put it down straight and then just put the feathers back because the feathers moved anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> so that was me just trying to make it so that I wouldn't have to do more work and I ended up having to do more work, but that's okay. Um, I also decided that it needed a little bit of extra washing, just that one strip of blue was just a bit stark. So I got out some more washi, and this washi, I think, is from... Uh, see, I should have all this written down. But I have limited time. This washi is from, I think it's the Beach House set of washi. I think it's called Beach House. Beach House, yes, which is a beautiful set of washi tape. I love it. Um, so, yes, it's just a little blue stripe. Um, but I added just a little bit extra to the dark blue washi. Which then set it off just nicely. Uh, yeah, so I didn't edit this part out of sticking down all the feathers, which I probably should have done because it's a little bit monotonous. But that's okay. I hope you're all sticking with me. I'd love some comments if people want to leave comments. I'd love to know uh, what you guys think or where you're from. So please leave me some comments. Um, I haven't received any comments yet. So I don't know if I've got it switched on or not. I'm sure I've got it switched on that I can have comments. If not, please go to my blog and leave some comments. There will be a post um, with this layout. So please, I'd love to hear where you guys are from. So I'm in Brisbane, Australia. So other Australians or people from around the world, I'd love to hear it. Um, so please leave a comment and I'll try and comment back to you guys. So I'm just finishing off with my feathers. Even though this drove me nuts, I am still in love with these stamps. <laughs> and I think you'll see a few more of these featured uh, in the next couple of months. <laughs> it is my favorite set. So as always, you can check out my work at scrapronnie.com and I hope to be back with some more of these layouts for you. Oh, the last little bit I added, sorry, was the candy dots. I love these candy dots. Um, they come in all of the colour families, which are great. So if you're not good at um, colour matching, you know, we're stamping up that these colours match. So just used a few of those. Uh, and that's my finished layout. So thanks everyone and please check back for some more videos soon.